Hey everybody, Ramsey's here, coming at you with another video, and I just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to in the time that I haven't been putting out Survival Let's Play videos. Uh, for those of you who do not know, who didn't see my other video, um, our Let's Play world that I've been playing on in Survival Mode is gone. It, it got deleted. Um, it's unfortunate. We're gonna have to start over. I'm over it now. We're gonna we're just gonna start over and I've been gearing up for what I'm calling season two of my Let's Play series and um, I've been thinking about the types of things that I want to learn to do better. Um, something you guys should maybe know about me is that I'm always looking for ways that I can improve the stuff that I know how to do and that's in life in general and also in Minecraft. So one of the things I've decided I want to get a lot better at is uh, building. Building things that look nice. Building buildings that have you know, better looking roofs and uh, just an overall better layout. And so I decided for a long time, I thought, you know, maybe I could just muscle my way through it. I would just keep, you know, trying to build and seeing maybe eventually I would just get good at it. And I guess there there's some merit to that. The more you do something, the better at it you get. But the other thing that you can do to help improve is to learn from people who already know what they're doing. And the best way to learn that with Minecraft is to go to a platform like YouTube and learn from people who are making YouTube videos about how to build better or to watch other people even if they're not focused on building they're still building stuff to watch what they're doing and try to pick up tips and and I've tried doing that for a while and most recently what I decided to do was go look up a specific YouTuber his name's Grian who I, I highly recommend watching his videos because I've actually learned quite a bit from from watching them and learning the types of stuff that he chooses to do when he's building something. And he's specifically very, very good at making making buildings and things that look very aesthetically pleasing. So what I did was I found a video, and actually I'll link the video in the description so you guys should go watch it too, because it helped me a ton in building houses and laying out houses to make sure that they look good. So I, I will totally link the video in the description for this video. Um, you guys should absolutely check out his channel. I'm subscribed to him. You should too. He has a lot of really good advice when it comes to building. Um, so I watched his video and I was so inspired by watching it that I decided I was going to go build a house. So I loaded up this world you're seeing right here. And it's a, it's a, it's a flat, flat world. It doesn't have anything in it except for some trees and some grass and stuff. But now it has a house in it. Um, I built a house in it and I thought today with this video I could showcase it for you. Kind of guys show you guys a little bit of what I've been creating as kind of a teaser for maybe some of the stuff I want to try to do in season two. Now, obviously, right off the bat, I'm not going to be able to do anything this big, but um, just just to kind of show you guys what I've been up to and the kind of stuff that I've been trying to learn um, on my own. So you guys ready for the reveal? Here it comes. Boom. There it is. This is the house that I built. You can see a little chimney there and I use cobwebs to make smoke. Um, here, I'll give you guys an aerial view of it. I built this in creative mode. I didn't do this in survival. Um, but here you go. You can see right here, I built this little path around it, and uh, I have lots of little, like, balconies and things like that. Uh, the roof is way more complex than I ever thought it was going to be, and definitely the most complex roof that I think I've ever built to date. Um, but it just, the shape of the building um, necessitated that the roof was going to be pretty out there, and it actually worked. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. It looks really complicated. But it all just stems from the shape of the building. I laid out a ground plan that was more interesting than just a rectangle, which is something that Green talks about in the video that I'm that I'm going to link in the description. Um, and and the roof actually followed. It it was surprisingly easier than I thought it was going to be. So um, rather than just show you the outside, I'm actually going to kind of go inside and show you what it looks like on the inside. The outside is definitely something that I'm very proud of. Obviously, the build palette is very brown. And maybe one thing I would say about it is that I could have used less wood and more other stuff. Um, but I suppose the cobblestone is a welcome change. Anyway, let's go inside. Actually, first off, before I go inside, I can show you we have this little garden here. Um, I, I put a little lily pad. Um, it's not much. It's really small. It's barely even a garden. It's just it's just kind of a little pond with some, you know, mossy stone bricks down there. Um, anyway, let's, let's go inside. I'll open up these doors. I put these red carpets down. I'm actually not sure whether I like them or not, but they're okay. Uh, the first room right here is, it was supposed to be a map room, and I started making the map, and I realized that the only thing on this map is this little bitty house. Um, I think if this was like a real world that actually generated properly, and it wasn't just a, a super flat world, um, then this would be a lot more interesting. Um, I go, I went ahead and made the rest of the map anyway, 
because I didn't want a bunch of item frames just sitting here on the wall. And this is kind of what I had planned to do with the room. Once I, once I had like the walls built and everything, I was like, I should put a map here. And I laid down the item frames and I said, I'll come back and do the map later. Cause that sounds hard. Uh, and it turns out this is a really boring map with lots of tiny little pools, which is actually kind of funny. But you can see our little house right there. Um, anyway, I also put lots of crafting benches around in the corners and I put little flowers on them to decorate. Um, the red is kind of in honor of our survivor world that just died. Our color for that world was red. We used it as an accent color. And so I decided to use red as an accent color in this one. Um, when I was using things like carpets and flowers and stuff, I do have one blue flower somewhere. I just randomly decided to use a blue flower there. Maybe we'll find it later. But yeah, uh, I stashed the crafting benches in places because like ostensibly, you know, you're walking around doing stuff and you it feels like you always need a crafting bench. So I, I hid them kind of all over the place. You can see one there. They might be a little bit too plentiful. That's okay. Um, see, there's another one there. Um, right here, you can see my dog, Ophie. Um, she's a really cute little dog. Uh, I actually have a, a dog named Ophie in real life. Uh, for those who are curious, she's a... Newfoundland German Shepherd mix. She's she's a very cute dog and she sits next to me while I'm recording these videos and is very patient and quiet while I'm recording. Uh, do you want to say hi, Ophie? No, Ophie doesn't talk. She just uh, hangs out. Well, this Ophie talks. She barks at me, I guess, in Minecraft. Anyways, but I tried to build her like this little house right here in this corner. I needed something to do with the corner. I thought, oh, I'll build a little house for Ophie. And so I put Ophie here and I used a name tag to name her. Um, yeah, oh, Ophie, by the way, is short for Ophelia. That's her name. Um, but we just call her Ophie all the time. She's looking at me now because she can tell I'm talking about her. Anyway, uh, I hung a painting of the Wither right here. I didn't choose the painting. That's just what I put up. But I like that painting. It's one of my favorite ones. Anyways, in here is our bedroom. Uh, actually, I meant to take this out. I put a I put a brewing stand here. But I think I want something else there. I'd love if I could maybe design something that looked like a, a lampshade. Maybe, maybe I'll try that later and see if I can figure it out. Uh, I've got some more paintings on the walls, another crafting bench, and this bed. And over here we have our closet. It's got a chest with nothing in it, but and, and a, a nifty little set of blue and orange armor. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, it was just it was just for fun to act like a to a closet. You know, I thought that'd be fun. None of the chests in the building have anything in them. Uh, this, for the record, is the back door. You can see here's the back of the house right here. Um, I just thought I'd show you where that door goes as we keep walking around. Um, that is actually all of the downstairs. Uh, this is the whole downstairs. It felt really, really big. When I started to add in the walls and the rooms and stuff, it felt like it was going to be really, really big. And then as soon as I started putting stuff in here, it all of a sudden felt actually really cozy, which I was surprised at. Um, one thing, one critique I do have right here is that these walls are a little too flat oak wood walls. I wonder if there's something I can do to help make the edges of these doors look a little better. Maybe I could, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I tried using different colored stairs in here, but they, it made the, the, the doorways look too boxy. So anyways, let's head upstairs. Um, upstairs is even more cramped and cozy. Uh, as you can see, the first thing I should show you, I suppose, is that I have some spare storage here. I tried to make these, uh, banners look like curtains which I think sort of worked. You can still kind of see the posts down there. Um, but I thought it was kind of cool if we had some curtains. There's nothing in these chests, but I thought it would be cool to have some like spare attic space kind of storage. And in this door, we have a little balcony. You can see it's uh, moon's currently rising. Um, and there's not much out here. Ooh, I had a lag spike. That was kind of weird. Um, you can see this is part of our chimney. It it goes up over there. And also I'll, I'll show you actually the inside part of our, our little fireplace in just a second here. We'll go back inside. Um, you can see it's right here. I put I put a little fireplace here, and I actually added furnaces, and I cooked up some some pork chops in there. I guess I probably shouldn't have made pork chops. I forgot we're not supposed to eat pork because we have a pig named Percival. Um, I actually forgot about that. <laughs> Oops, that's kind of embarrassing. Anyway, um, but yeah, I made a little fireplace, and I used these little you know these iron bars and cobblestone to make it look like a fireplace. It's not perfect. It looks a little too symmetrical. I actually kind of wish it was a little more boxy and a little less wide. But it just kind of turned out this way. There's probably some things about it I would change if I were to redo it. Um, over here, I wanted a little kitchen space. So this is where I ended up deciding to put a brewing stand. Um, and I was going to get rid of the one downstairs. And this this hopper is kind of supposed to be a sink. I thought it kind of looked like a sink. And this one kind of looks like a stovetop, like a burner, which I thought was kind of cool. Kind of The torch, honestly, isn't really supposed to be anything. It's just really dark in this area without it. So I put a torch there. And I guess we could like put some stuff here in these chests as far as like food or potions and stuff. And uh, I, I put a carrot in the item frame just because I like carrots. 
Um, there's really no other reason. And there was some vaguely food related stuff over here. So I, I put a carrot there. I just needed something to fill this space. I didn't want another crafting bench. I didn't want another furnace, but I did, I did put a crafting bench here, more chests, uh, an enchanter right here and some bookshelves. And actually uh, the bookshelves look a little bit weird, but the fun thing about them is actually we have enough here for a full 30th level enchantment, which I thought was cool. I squeezed in enough bookshelves over here to make that work. Uh, you can see out here, we have another little balcony. Um, to look out. Nothing's really going on out here. Um, I didn't I didn't really put anything out there um, but Anyway, uh, what else is upstairs? I know there's another room somewhere. Oh, it's this room right here in here We have our mass storage. Oh, and you can see there's another balcony I've got I've got three different balconies one tiny little one and then two that are about this size um, Anyway, uh, you can see this is our mass storage uh, We've got chests that are all empty right here and the, the sneaky thing that I did here was I actually put crafting benches in the in the corner here I, I made like a pillar of crafting benches so that when you're like, you know you're, You take stuff out of your chest and you want to craft it up You go in here and you've got a crafting bench in the corner. There wasn't really a good place to put a crafting bench in this room um, So I just uh, put it in the corner there. And you can see there's also a ladder up here up here is the only room that I didn't know what to do with. I haven't put anything in this room yet. Maybe I will. Oh, this house is still a work in progress. There's things about it I still want to change. Um, but the room feels a little bleak, open, barren. I thought about making this a bedroom, but part of the problem is, is these are these are slabs. These are lower, like half slabs, which means if, if I grab a, a block right now, I'll show you. Oh, I got new recipes. Uh, I can't place anything there. There's, there's like, it floats. Um, Unless I put a, uh, here, I'll grab a slab of oak wood. And then I can go like that, and it'll set on stuff, you know? But the problem is, one, if I do that, if I do that over here, these become full blocks, and then I can't open the chests right here. So I was really limited in where I could place things in this room because of the chests not being able to open. And that always bothers me having useless chests, but sometimes I do it. So maybe I should just make the chest useless and turn this into either more storage space or who knows what. Uh, one thing I actually forgot to add in here is uh, an anvil. I should have put an anvil somewhere in here. Maybe I could have put an anvil on top of here instead of the carrot, I don't know. Or an anvil in the corner. Maybe we'll just put an anvil in the, oh, I didn't type anvil right here. We'll take an anvil. Uh, it doesn't look that good. I don't know. Well, maybe we'll, I'll find a place for it. Maybe we can find a good place for an anvil. There's not really a good one. I'll figure it out. But um, that, that'd be one thing that this room would need because we've got the enchanter right here and we've got potions right here. It seems like a nice magic place to to store an anvil. Um, so yeah, this is... I think we've actually seen most of the house. One of the cool things... Um, that we've got here is we can actually get on the roof here real quick. I'm gonna um, Set the time today. I've been working here a lot. I've set the time today a few times uh, We can actually get on the roof from up here, which I think is pretty funny We can like kind of walk all over there and parkour over the roof. There's actually not a lot of parkour here but um, Which is funny because that means we can actually because there's our one balcony we can get from our, our balcony over there all the way over here and to our other balcony over here where our uh, little attic space is and I like it I didn't actually intend to make this thing three stories either but technically there is one more room up there this must be the highest of all the towers yeah I'm guessing it is based on this window so if we go look outside I bet you we see this is the tall tower in the in the east side of the building this is this is the east side of the building by the way I just know that from when I was making the maps <laughs> that's not something I usually memorize but um, yeah, so I, I put some buttons and trap doors here. I feel like I may have spammed them about a little bit too much. They're a little bit too plentiful. If you like look at the outside of the building, um, they're kind of everywhere. Um, it doesn't look terrible, I think. I'm trying not to over detail it. I'm trying to really let this kind of stuff work on its own. There's a lot of oak wood texture, this kind of like grainy oak wood texture, which Sometimes I like and sometimes it bothers me in large quantities and I definitely used it in large quantities But part of my goal here was to use very simple blocks because I was trying to focus on shape and not on Not on palette. I was trying to really just focus on on the shape 
that I was building because I can always use different blocks. Like I can always create the same shape out of different blocks and it'll look really good, but it all needs to come from shape. You can see I did get a little bit fancy with the, with the path. I like this path okay. I've, I've done paths like this before where I like, you know, use little bits of, you know, path block and, and these leaf blocks with glowstone underneath them. But, uh, oh, that's going to bug me if I don't fix it. Uh, I think I used oak leaves. I bet you I used oak leaves. There we go. Yeah, I think I did. Anyway, um, but I added in these these uh, mossy stone bricks, which I thought would look kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I think I think that looks pretty cool. And they match our area over here where we have the, the border of our little uh, pond garden space. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of see, I don't know, I'll give you one last, you know, aerial look at the uh, at the house. I'm pretty proud of what I was able to make here. And, I, and I'm really thinking that I want to try to be a little bit more adventurous in the type of stuff that I choose to build in my in my Let's Play series. Um, making, instead of just digging a hole in the side of a mountain and making a base that way, really trying to make something that looks good on the outside, because it's always something I've struggled with in the past. Um, my buildings always look a little bit too flat and boxy. Um, and they're just basically big rectangular prisms in the middle of nowhere. Um, but this this actually looks quite a bit better. I, I'm very proud of what we were able to come up with here. And I and I think I think this is definitely I'm I don't know if I showed you guys. I have this little I, I just remembered right now. Sorry to completely change gears. But I built this little like uh, covered area. And I thought it'd be really fun to like put like tools or something in here, like garden tools, like put some like, you know, a hoe in there or something. Um, and maybe like have a garden over here on the side of the house. I don't know. That's why the chest down here. Oh, and here's the blue flower I was talking about. You can see it. It's it's outside of my bedroom. You can see there's my bed right there in the stupid <laughs> brewing stand. I guess in some ways it kind of looks like a desk lamp. I don't know if that's just me. That could totally just be me. I have no idea. But anyway, I'm pretty proud of this. And I hope you guys like it. And I hope you guys are excited for the stuff that we're going to build in season two. Uh, this is all just gearing up for season two and trying to see what I can do to help improve uh, my build style. And as I mentioned, I'm going to link that green video that I was watching because um, I think it's honestly really beneficial. And I, I totally encourage any of you who are interested in learning to build things better and make things look better, uh, go check it out. It's really, really helpful. He talks about the shape of the building and he talks about roof design and he does, he talks a little bit about theming and build palette as well, too, in that video. And and he's got loads of other videos where he talks about all kinds of stuff, interior design and loads of stuff. I think he even has one on, like, modern buildings, like, uh, I don't know, basically the, the really, like, boxy-looking, you know, futuristic, modern-looking buildings. Um, so definitely go check out his channel. I'm definitely going to keep watching his stuff. Um, I hope that you guys really enjoyed... Uh, everything that we did uh i know this was just a tour you didn't really see many blocks placed but i hope you guys enjoyed it i i definitely i mostly just wanted to kind of show you guys what i've been up to and hopefully you guys are interested in this if you are go ahead and leave a like um and i'll i'll do videos like this more often or maybe i'll kind of do more videos where i'm actually building in creative creative mode like on camera um so if that sounds good to you go ahead and totally leave a like and, and i'll try to do that more often um I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I cannot wait to see you guys for Season 2 of my Let's Play series. I really hope you guys tune in for that. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you guys keep being your beautiful selves, and I'll see you around. Bye.